and thank you for joining us live tonight. It's going to be a very, very different live than any other lives before. We said that we're going to be meeting up any TikTokers in Sydney that would like to come and join. We'll go live together. I have cameras over there recording as well. It's gonna be on YouTube, so. Welcome back to creating your own new limitless world. I'm Dr. Joe Isaac, if you are seeing me for the first time. I'm very passionate about helping people bust through their obstacles, develop their confidence, and feel excellent and accomplished about themselves. If you wanna know more about me, I'll put a bio in the video description below. You can check it out at your convenience. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure that you have the bell notification button so you can get notified of my next upcoming video. guys make sure that you keep the same scenario that we always do every live always introduce yourself always let us know where you're from and how old you are and engage with other community members on new limitless world you know we're not just a profile we are community and we are family so first uh, i want to introduce how i got to know v v is someone that we met on tiktok and that's the beauty of tiktok that brings people together from different countries different parts of the world v is originally from new zealand but he's residing in sydney as he's joining me thank you v for joining me really appreciate it and i appreciate the man that delivers what he promises and v told me that he's going to be joining me he's going to be hanging out with me tell us how did you come to TikTok. It was a very interesting story that V was telling me and I told them, hang on, I think everybody needs to hear that story when they join us. So I move the camera here a little bit and V, there we go. What's your story with TikTok? Hi guys, um, how, how I caught on to TikTok was um, just checking up on my daughter. She's the one that got me onto TikTok and I got hooked and here I am just enjoying TikTok for what it is. It's just a fun platform. You know, you can meet so many people um, as well, learn, like, and yeah, it's sky's the limit, really. Tell us what do you really, what do you really like about TikTok V? The glimpse of the story that you told me, how TikTok actually changed the way you think and the way you live. Mm, okay, TikTok, TikTok. Um, one, obviously it's fun. That's the foundation of TikTok. It's just fun. It creates that positive environment um, where it can help you f uh, spiritually, mentally, um, as well. It's Hi, a, Dr. Gadir. It's a fun app where um, you can be an average singer. And in this app, it makes you I don't know, look like Whitney Houston or something. <laughs> <laughs> I really picked up his energy in the comments and this is why I was telling you before that the comments are so crucial to get you to meet other people. I don't think without TikTok and without the comments I would have met V. Your live stream is so motivating. Thank you so much. Uh, someone is saying is he a Filipino? Uh, he can answer for himself. Are you a Filipino V? No, I'm of um, Samoan heritage, but I grew up in New Zealand and then migrated to Australia. V had to actually drive for a while to get to where I am. So again, thank you V for, for your effort. And it's, it's people like you that inspire me to do what I do. Because when I see the connection, when I see how we bring value, this is what drives me that inspire me so i thank you and i thank all of you amazing people on TikTok. thank you all the youtube community for your support two eyes two ears one mouth listen and see twice as much as you talk and of course susie always bringing an insight to it uh, i appreciate you susie i appreciate you monica thank you so much for sharing the live uh, love your videos monica love your smile and um, very, very amazing. I forgot to tell you this, but it was very interesting to see you singing in different languages. Uh, that's something inspiring. V, you were telling me before that you've attended, you're, you work in sales, right? Yeah, yeah. And you've attended a lot of training and, and then, so what, what happened? How did you sort of link to my account? What did you like? Hi Doc, um, hi everyone. How I connected? Um, but this community was, as he mentioned, um, my background is in sales. Um, I, I fell into sales by accident. I'm meant to be a barber, cut hair, but I fell into sales by accident. And it's been now, what, 25 years, been in sales with so many other companies, but 
I've gone through so many sales training, you name it, I've done it. But for some reason on TikTok, while I was just scrolling through, a lot of the content from um, Doc, just, it, stood, it stuck to me. Um, that's why I became a fan. Like I always learned something. Like I mentioned before, when I'm on TikTok, it's fun, but as well, learn something from it. It's an opportunity where you learn. It could be just from words. It could be comments from people, but you you walk away with something. Learning has to be fun. And this is one of the biggest downfalls that I often see in the educational system in many countries, that learning is becoming so boring and that people are not learning. And I think we can all relate to that if we go back, if we go back to school for uh, just a moment, I suppose, and think about it for a second, if we have been away from school for quite some time, you've all have forgotten your teachers at school. Everybody does. But there's always that one or two teachers that somehow you still remember. Because this teacher gave you value. This teacher made it fun. This teacher somehow connected with you. Mm -hmm. And here you are after you're leaving school 10 years, 20 years, whatever age you have, and you might be at whatever stage, you still remember that person. And I think that's the essence and the foundation that you are discussing, V, that it's about fun. And when things are connected to happiness, it really connects to the memory. This live really helps many people. Look, Margaret is amazing. And, uh, you know, comments like this, Margaret, is why we do what we do. What did your wife say about you joining TikTok, V? Uh, she, she loves it. She, um, her and my daughter said that they've seen a different person ever since I um, went on TikTok. They love the fact that I laugh a lot, I smile, I don't become depressed. But then the top it off is um, just learn, like you become a better person. Like I said on TikTok, you can, you can have fun, that's, that's great, but as well, you can learn something. Whether it be, like we were just talking about docs that are um, lip syncing. I learned how to cook. <laughs> I learned how to cook. Yeah, oh my God. I learned so. <laughs> this um, is amazing. There's one thing I liked about TikTok is that you get the information, you get the tip real fast. Yep. So at most is one minute. They get to the tip real quick. And for someone like me, who's very busy with his work and trying to do the social media on the side to help people and share with them the foundation of um, what I have without having to pay money and sit in any programs where I'm lecturing or I'm teaching is the, the essence of get to the information real quick and actually help the people. And we've got also Emily, it's your Scottish girl. She's also an amazing girl from Scotland. And she's always out there with the videos with Emily saying, I love your accent. So- oh, That must be your accent though. No, it's your accent, not mine. <laughs> oh, thanks Emily. We've got Telescopic Fox, uh, always surprising me, Telescopic Fox. Telescopic Fox doesn't miss a video. Every video I post somehow Telescopic Fox is on it and there's a comment. What's the name of the bald guy? Well, I don't know which bald guy. <laughs> well, it's clearly this time it's me, right? Because <laughs> I don't see you bald in any way or form. <laughs> Warn people about liking content too fast. How it can be shadow banned. Yes, absolutely, Maria. I always suggest, at least for my videos, if you are watching my videos, number one thing is watch the video to the end. If you believe in my content, if you believe in my message, if you believe I make a difference, make sure that you watch the video to the end and close to the end or at the end, you can like and then comment and share and so on. No Switzerland, okay. Uh, try so much for explaining because small account, but I always watch till the end. Uh, if you guys are watching my videos to the end, you will always see me on the For You page. Uh, if you're not watching my videos to the end, you may not see my videos because retention is number one factor for our beautiful platform, TikTok, that we all love. Please share Misty Lee from the US. I remember her. She's saying, please share what you both do. I'm a business development um, manager for a beverage company. Um, been doing it now for 15 years. 
but in this industry for a total of 25, 25 years. Um, as mentioned before, I was meant to be a barber cutting hair, but I fell into this industry and ever since then I got hooked. I just love selling hope, um, ideas, fun. V, I was you were telling me earlier that you always learn something. Yeah. So as we, we came here tonight, what did you really learn upon meeting me and without me teaching you? Yep. You already told me some stuff. I'll be very interested to hear. Um, Just move this one here. Yep. Obviously leading Doc himself. Uh, he is who he is when you see him on the video, you see him in real life. He's genuine, that's one. Um, just the little bits like the, the prepping to go live. There's a lot of work in the background. Again, that's plan and prepare. So that way, you know, you can get your message out. That's something I learned. The principle is you always learn something. And that's just one of many. 